demonstrating how to create hand-filled capsules. Capsules are a very commonly used dosage form and the active ingredient in these capsules is commonly used to treat asthma. I will now be demonstrating how to calculate the displacement value of your capsules. To begin, obtain an empty capsule shell and you're just going to come over to the electronic balance and zero the balance. You're then going to place the empty capsule onto the balance. You're going to zero the balance. Remove your capsule and come over to your glass plate. Here on the glass slab, we have a suitable amount of lactose just in a pile. So we're just going to stack up the lactose powder and with your capsule, you're just going to break the capsule open. The long, tall portion of the capsule is known as the body and the shorter end is known as the cap. You're going to take the body of the capsule and you're just going to gently pound into the powder mound that you have created with the lactose till the body of your capsule is full, like such. You're then going to place the cap of the capsule tightly back over the body and wipe away any excess powder that may be on the outside of your capsule shell. Once the outside of the capsule is free of powder, you're going to come back over to your balance, which should be displaying a negative number, and you're going to place your full capsule back on the balance. Make note of the value obtained and repeat this process for your active ingredients, the theophylline and the ephedrine, in order to calculate your displacement value. And this is how you will calculate the displacement value for your active ingredients. We are now ready to mix our active ingredient in with our diluent. To do so, we will be performing a geometric dilution. A geometric dilution is done to ensure that the active ingredient is evenly dispersed throughout the large quantity of diluent. For demonstration purposes, we will be using a red powder dye as our active ingredient and lactose as our diluent. To begin, take a small quantity of lactose onto your metal spatula. This quantity of lactose should be equal to the quantity of la active ingredient that is in your mortar. Once you have an equal quantity, add it to the mortar and mix the two together until they have combined homogeneously. Once you have a combined mixture, you're going to repeat the same process. Take a quantity of diluent that is equal to the amount of the active ingredient and diluent that you have from your first round of mixing and add it into your mortar. Again, we're going to mix until homogenous. You are going to repeat this process until you have used all of the diluent required for your capsules. We have now added all of our diluent to our active ingredient. As you can see, the mixture is homogeneously mixed and you cannot tell the difference between the active ingredient and the diluent. This is how you perform a geometric dilution. You are first going to obtain your glass slab and just pour your mixture onto the slab. Then, using your metal spatula, you're going to create a powder pile. And now that your powder is stacked, you are again going to obtain an empty capsule. And separate the cap of the capsule from the body. Once more, you're going to take the long body of your capsule and gently pound it into your mound of powder until the capsule is full. Once the body of the capsule is full of your mixture. You are going to place the cap back over the body and again wipe away any excess that may be on the outside of the capsule. And that is how you create a hand-filled capsule. Ta -da, ta -da. Oh.